टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन अमित बॉट टू चॉकलेट्स फॉर ट्वेंटी रुपीज एंड निशा बॉट फोर चॉकलेट्स फॉर फोर्टी रुपीज कैन यू टेल हुज चॉकलेट्स वर मोर कॉस्टली थिंक थिंक लेट मी टेल यू वी कैन से दैट द रेशियो ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ चॉकलेट्स परचेज बाय अमित एंड द नंबर ऑफ चॉकलेट्स परचेज बाय निशा इज टू इज टू फोर दैट इज वन इज टू टू सिमिलरली द रेशियो ऑफ द वैल्यूज इज ट्वेंटी इज टू फोर्टी दैट इज वन इज टू टू दिस शोज दैट एज द नंबर ऑफ चॉकलेट्स हैज डबल्ड देर वैल्यूज ऑल्सो डबल्ड इन दिस वे the price of chocolate depend on their number we can say that here the ratio of number of chocolates and the ratio of their values is the same in this way if two ratios are the same then they are in proportion to indicate equality in ratios use this sign or this sign on the basis of proportional relationship we can say that the cost of chocolate was same for both amit and nisha many times we encounter situations such that if one quantity increases the other also increases for example if the number of chocolate increases their price also increases but in each case the ratio of number of chocolates and their prices will be same If there is an increase in one quantity x in such a way that the other quantity y also increases in such a way that there is no change in the ratio x by y then we say that x and y are in direct proportion in such case x by y is constant let's consider this as k where k is a positive number we can say x is k multiplied by y in case of direct proportion if value of x is x1 x2 x3 and so on and corresponding values of y is y1 y2 y3 and so on then we can write x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2 is equal to x3 by y3 and so on is equal to k in such a situation both the quantities vary directly that is they are directly proportional which is represented like this this symbol means is proportional to in this way we read the statement x is proportional to y in this case the number of chocolates is proportional to the price of the chocolate now let us understand some situations involving direct proportion A machine makes a few items in a day. If we increase the number of machines, what will be the effect on the number of items produced? Think, think. Yes, here the proportion of the number of machines will increase or decrease in the same proportion. The number of items will also increase or decrease. Therefore, we can say that the number of machines. and the number of items is directly proportional to it now tell me is there direct proportion between the area of the wall and the amount of paint required to paint it think think yes we need the quantity of color according to the area of the wall that is the ratio by which the area will increase or decrease the amount of color will also increase or decrease by the same ratio therefore the area of the wall and the required amount of paint are also directly proportional is the number of laborers for certain job also directly proportional to time think think no they cannot be in direct proportion because if the number of laborers increases the time required will be less but if the number of laborers decreases then the time required will be more in such a situation there is no direct proportionality instead there is 
inverse proportion. We will understand this in a separate video. So today we have learned about direct proportion. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples on it.